Welcome to WCJH News. It's, it's a great day to be an Eagle. Hello, Coffinville. I'm Reagan. And I'm Gianna. It's Friday, September 9th. Remember, students, lunch costs 275 this year, so be sure to bring your money. Students, when waiting in the gym and cafeteria, please stay at a voice level zero as there's vital information being discussed. No cell phones should be out during school and should be turned off during the school day. Cell phones should only be used during gym and before school, not in school. Students, please be mindful of the dress code. Please review your handbook or find a teacher to answer your question. Today for lunch, we'll have chicken sandwiches, french fries, corn, garden salad, fresh fruit, grab-and-go boxes, and your choice of milk. I'm Savannah with birthdays. Today we have Alleged Miller, Riley Wombles, and Kaylin Hudson. Happy birthday! Please stop by the office after school to receive a small birthday gift. I'm Naima with sports. On September 12th, our 7th and 8th grade volleyball teams will host Charles Henderson Middle School at 5 p.m. Also on September 15th, our 7th grade volleyball team will host Southdale at 4 p.m. Let's take it to Gianna with a sports interview. Go Eagles! I'm Gianna Rocco with sports, and I'm here with Miss Dale, the head volleyball coach for 7th grade. Miss Dale, how do you feel about the upcoming game? Um, I'm really excited. We have a good group of girls. Um, they really work well together and they just, they describe themselves as a family. So I'm just excited to see um, how we play in this upcoming game and just the season in general. Are there any um, spotlight players you'd like to shine on? Avery Quincy is, she's the captain. She's the captain for a reason. She is just a go-getter. Um, I love her attitude on the court and she is just the best teammate she could be all the time. Okay, good. And I'm Gianna with Sports. Thank you for watching. Hello, Coffinville. This is Savannah with a few words of wisdom. Some of you may remember being afraid of monsters. To small children, those monsters are imaginary. But today, there are real monsters who would like to see you doing drugs, joining the gang, dropping out of school, or committing crimes. English author Sir Thomas Mallory once said, Do act the good and leave evil behind, and it shall bring you good fame and real. When we follow our hearts and do what's right, we earn the respect of others. They want to see us do well in the world. They want to support our efforts. Today and every day, choose what's right. Leave the monsters behind and you'll come out as a winner. With something to think about, this is Savannah. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. You can watch the news on our school website by clicking on the TV icon on the upper right of the homepage. On September 11, 2001 at 8.45 a.m. on a clear Tuesday morning, an American Airlines Boeing 767 loaded with 20,000 gallons of jet fuel crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City. The impact left a gaping burning hole near the 80th floor of the 110-story skyscraper, instantly killing hundreds of people and trapping hundreds more on higher floors. As the evacuation of the tower and its twin got underway, television's cameras broadcasted live images of initially appeared to be a freak accident. Then in 18 minutes after the first plane hit, a second Boeing 767 United Airlines flight 175 appeared out of the sky, turned sharply toward the World Trade Center and sliced into the South Tower. So remember, today and every day. Even the smallest act of service, the simplest act of kindness, is a way to honor those we lost, a way to reclaim that spirit of unity that followed 9-11.